What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going to be going over the new Hunter and Marksmanship talents in the War Within beta. Blizzard did a complete overhaul. There is new nodes, new talents. There's nodes that have only one point now and everything's been rearranged. It looks, it flows a lot better. And obviously, this is not going to be the final product. This is obviously the beta. Things could change and be nerfed. But Marksman Hunter is looking to be a beast in survivability and damage. So enough of that. Let's get right into the video. All right, let's look at the new Hunter talents and the new MM talents. So we're going to start off with the Hunter Talents. So you got Kill Shot, it's a given. So you got Improved Kill Shot, which is the same. The 25% increased critical damage is increased. Uh, concussive Shot. All right, let's take that. We got Trink Shot. And you got Post Haste is up here now. And then you have Hunter's Avoidance is up here instead of down in this area. So I don't think you want that for PvP. You got uh, Counter Shot right here. And there's a new talent right here. So you have Kodo, Tranquil Tranquilizer. Tranquilizing shot removes up to one additional magic effect from his target, or uh, um, if you tranquilizing shot removes only an enrage effect, its cooldown is reduced by five seconds. I think this one, an additional, will go a Kodo for sure. Uh, and then you have natural mending up here instead of on this side. Then you have rejuvenating one, which is just a one point now. It used to be a two point node, so it's a two, uh, one point node for with a two point node like effect. So increased by 8% your stamina or your maximum health. And then you heal for an additional 20% over your maximum health for 8 seconds. Take that for sure. And then you got Tar Trap right here. Which is the same. Then Survival of the Fittest is right here instead of over here. Uh, Entrapment obviously. So you get that 4 second root. And then you have Misdirection is over here instead of in the center. And then you got Scare Beast. Which is in probably kind of in the same area. And you have... Wilderness Medicine, uh, which is right here. It's a one-point node now instead of a two-point node, uh, which is very nice. And then new talent, Padded Armor, Survival of the Fittest, gains an additional charge. That is insane. That is insane. I've been wanting that forever for Marksmanship Hunters. Lone Survivor now. You don't got to choose between uh, this and um, increasing your Survival of the Fittest. Now it's a Lone Survivor, reduces the cooldown of your Survival of the Fittest by 30 seconds. And increasing its duration by two seconds reduces the cooldown of counter shot by and muzzle by two seconds. Massive talent, massive talent, massive talent. Then you got this new talent here, specialized arsenal. Aim shot deals 10% increased damage. That's insane. They choose you as something that would be over here, but they add it into the hunter tree. And that's just gonna be based on each specialization is gonna have their own. Probably kill command and then like raptor strike for survival. Disruptive rounds when tranquilizing shards successfully dispels an effect of counter shot, interrupts casts. Or counter shot interrupts the cast. You gain 10 focus. This used to be in this area now. So you'll grab that. And you can grab binding shot, intim, and scatter shot now. So all three. You can have all three now, which is pretty dub. Dub city. And then you have intimidation right here. So you want that. Explosive shot's in the middle now instead of down here. Where you have to choose between something. Which is very nice. This new talent right here. No hard feelings. When you misdirect target your... When misdirection targets your pet... It reduces the damage they take by 50% for 5 seconds. Um, so that's for your pets. I don't feel seeing that being very good. That, seemed, that probably may be good for... Uh, I don't know what you would use that for. That, that's a weird talent. And then you have Scout's Instinct. You cannot be slowed below 80% of your normal movement speed. While Aspect of the Cheetah is active. And that's a whatever talent. Doesn't seem that great. So then so you grab Binding Shot right here. Very nice, very nice. And then you have Scrappy. Cast Aim Shot reduces the cooldown or of int Intimidation and Biting Shot by 0.5 seconds. That's a very good talent. Another new talent, Territorial Instincts. Intimidation can now be cast without pet and stuns two additional nobody enemies for 50% effectiveness. This is uh, sounds pretty good. So you can st stun up to three people and the other two people will be two seconds instead of four. Uh, this is good for micro CC, but if you're going to be running Binding Shot, as well, I feel like you don't want to run this. This talent sounds better. Scrappy. So we'll go here. And then you also, there's another talent here. Trigger Finger. It's a passive. You and your pet have a 2.5% increased attack speed. It's two points. So it goes up to 5%. This effect is increased by 100% if you do not have a pet active. Uh, that seems like okay talent, but I would say no. So now you have a choice between uh, Still Trap and High Explosive uh, Trap. It used to be between High Explosive Trap and Intimidation, I believe. Uh, so we're going to still trap, obviously, which is very nice. Then you have keen eyesight, which used to be down in this area. So you increase your critical strike chance increased by 4%. 
Uh, another new talent, tar coated bindings. Binding shots stun duration increased by one second. Uh, that's not that great. So we're gonna go over here. And so you got bursting shot or scatter shot. I was hoping they were gonna give bursting shot like baseline, which kind of sucks that they didn't. But scatter shot obviously over bursting shot in my opinion for PvP. Another new talent, kindling flare. Stealth enemies revealed by flare remain revealed for three seconds after exiting flare. That sounds that's okay. Uh, Trailblazer, your movement speed is increased by 30% anytime you do not have been attacked for three seconds. That's a huge W. You can grab that now. I think it used to be up here. Then you grab Sack, obviously, which is down here instead of it used to be in this area. All right, another new talent emergency. Uh, Bane, Death, and Aspect of the Trail remove poisons and disease effects. That is a fucking must. That is insane. That's like the Lego, almost like the Lego from uh, Shadowlands. That's a must. Fain Death Lego. Another oh, and then you have pathfinding is over here now, which is a one point node instead of a two point node. I think it used to be a two point node, not exactly sure, can't remember. But movement speed increased by four percent. Then you have serrated tips, you gain five percent more critical strike uh from critical strike sources. Uh I think this is a must W. So then you and then you grab death chalk comes obviously, it's in the same spot. Then you have binding shackles right here, it's kind of in the same spot. As well, you do that 10% less damage when you scatter shot someone, high explosive trap, uh, binding shots, or intimidation stun. Uh, there's another new talent right here, moment of opportunity. When your trap triggers, you gain aspect of the cheetah for three seconds. Can occur every one minute, that sounds okay. But uh, we're gonna skip on that one. Then you have camo right here. We'll take that. Then uh, quick load is over here. When you fall below 40% bursting shot and scatter shot, their cooldown immediately reset. This can only occur once every 25 seconds. Nah. Then you have the improved traps. Is a one point node. It used to be up here. Now you can uh, get five seconds off just one point, which is really dope. So you can grab more stuff now. Then you have born to be wild is down here as well. It used to be closer to the top. Reduces the cooldown of Aspect of the Cheetah and Survival of the Fittest for an additional 30 seconds. So there's 30 seconds there off Aspect of, of the Fittest, or excuse me, Survival of the Fittest. And then you also have 30 seconds off here. So I think it's going to be one minute recharge and you'll have two charges for 30% 30, 30 damage reduct, which will be eight seconds each, which is pretty sick because it's normally it's six seconds. But with this, an additional two seconds. So I think Born to be Wild is what you want to do here. Okay, Ghillie Suit, you take 20% reduced damage while Camouflage is active. That's kind of useless because if you take damage while Camo, you lose Camo. But then the effect persists for 3 seconds after you leave Camouflage. I mean, when you're leaving Camouflage, you usually don't get attacked right away unless you've been found. Usually you're doing the damage first. And by the time someone turns around and attacks you... Uh, that 20% is going to be gone. So I feel like that's not the greatest of a talent. Oh, and then this last talent I forgot to mention, Unnatural Causes. The passive your damage over time effects deal 10% increased damage, which is very nice. Your bleeds and all stuff like that. And then the effect is increased by 50% on targets below 20% health. So this should be really good with kill shot. So that I think this is a must as well. So I forgot what I did wrong. So it's still trap. You can lose still trap to grab this. And I think this would be a pretty solid build if there's no changes. This is going to be a really, really solid build for the hunter split tree. So let's uh, move on to the marksman tree. So the first point is going to go into aim shot. And then you have rapid fire to the left still and still precise shots. But precise shots is a one point node now for the for the price of two. Right. And then you also have surging shots in the same spot as well. You want this streamline one point into streamline, which increases your rapid fire damage by 15 percent. And rapid fire also has a chance to cause your next aim shot. Got 30% faster, no changes there. We got a new talent here, penetrating shots. It's a passive gain critical strike damage equal to 20% of your critical strike chance. So whatever your critical strike chance is, you gain 20% of critical strike damage equal to that. So that's a new talent there. And then you have multi shots up here, and then also trick shots. So everything used to be down here on the, the left, as all like your AoE stuff is in the center now. Uh, you got to improve steady shot used to be right here where multi shot is and then you have crack shot So you take crack shot as well. I think is gonna be a great talent Then you have master marksman uh, Which used to be actually in the hunter tree. So now it's over here. That's pretty cool So it's a one point node. It used to be a two point node on the hunter tree master marksman your melee and range attack critical strikes causes the target to bleed for an additional 50% of the damage dealt over six seconds I think that's a must then you got a new talent over here, Fan of the Hammer. Rapid Fire shoots an additional three shots. That is a must. That sounds pretty sick to me. Careful Aim is over here. It used to be on this side. Aim Shot deals 50% bonus damage to targets who are above 70% health. I think that's a must as well. 
And then so you have multi shot here, trick shots here, and then you have that heavy ammo and light ammo, which used to be down here. And then bullet storm, which used to be bottom left as well. So this is kind of like an AOE thing. This will be like more for your mythics uh, plus stuff and your rating, things like that. And then you have lock and load, which used to be down here. So you have lock and load here, which is very nice. Chimera shots here, but you won't want to grab that for PvP unless there's some big changes. And then you have steady focus. Uh, use steady focus uh, twice in a row, increasing your haste by 8% for 15 seconds. This used to be at 2.0. Now it's 1 point and it's moved spots. It used to be in the lone wolf spot. So that's pretty cool. And then you have serpent stalker's trickery, which is 1 point. It's the same as it was before. And let's come over here. We got death blow. Uh, aim shot has 15% and rapid fire has a 25% chance to grant you a charge of kill shot and causing your next kill shot to be usable on any target, regardless of their current health. So we got barrage here now. We got barrage and then rapid fire barrage. So barrage now instead shoots rapid fire at your target and up to four by nearby enemies, 30% effectiveness, but it's cooldown is increased to four by 40 seconds. So it's going to be a one minute cooldown. That can be pretty good. That's going to be really good for mythics. Like insane. Uh, I have to do some testing. I'm going to do some testing in solo shelf with the build that I'm going to make. And then I'll have this build listed in the description if you guys want to try it in solo shelf and solo stuff as well in the beta. But so that would be a minute cooldown. That sounds pretty cool. Then you have killer accuracy, kill shot, critical strike chance, and critical strike damage increased by 20%. This used to be a 2.0. No, now it's one point. Very nice. Then a new talent, Night Hunter, aim shot and rapid fire critical strike chance increased by 5%. I think that's a must as well. You have Lone Wolf is down here now, but it got nerfed by 5%. So it's only a 5% increased damage with no pet. And then you also you have in the rhythm. You can grab this now. You used to have to choose between, I believe, surging shots or in the rhythm. So rapid fire fully finishes channeling, gain 8% haste for six seconds. I think you want to grab this for sure. Tactical reload, aim shot, and rapid fire cooldown reduced by 10%. It's kind of in the same spot and it hasn't changed at all. And then over here you have Hydra's Bite, which used to be over here in the hunter tree, and you had to choose between I just bite and uh, poison injection. So when aim shot strikes an enemy affected with your service sting, it spreads service sting to two enemies nearby. Service stings uh, damage over time is increased by 20%. I think that's a must since it's over here in the tree now. <clears throat> then bullseye has moved up a little bit up in the tree. It's the same thing. It's a one point node. And then you got volley. I think taking volley's huge here as well. And then let's see what we take probably take bullseye i guess and then focused aim this is a new uh it's not really a new it's a new talent but it's also the same thing it used to be i forget what it used to be called it used to be up in this area but you couldn't grab it unless you grabbed the lone wolf so it's focused aim aim shot and rapid fire increased by five percent so that's pretty huge uh so i think that's bugged so it should be up to ten percent but it's only increasing to five so yeah, that's bugged because it's two points. And then another new talent, small game hunter, multi-shot deals 100% increased damage and explosive shot deals 25% increased damage. You want this for sure for explosive shot. And then Salvo has moved down here. It used to be in this area. So you grab Salvo. When you multi-shot a volley, it also applies explosive shot up to two targets. And kill zone. This is new. It has the um the look of dead or what's it called dead eye which was two kill shot charges and reduces the cooldown so it's the same look talent but it's different now your spells and attacks deal eight percent increased damage and you ignore line of sight against any target in your volley that is insane that sounds like a really really good talent so i think you would want to run that in pvp then you have true shots right here and now you can grab eagle talents focus true focus so you last three seconds longer of true shot and reduces the cost of aim shot by 50 percent and causes your arcane and chimera shot and multi shot to be cast again at 30 percent effectiveness so you grab this and now you can grab calling shots and unearing vision which is a major major w so every 50 focus spent reduces the cooldown of true shot by 2.5 seconds then you can grab an unearing vision as well to get that crit strike chance and increase critical damage uh every one second stacking up to 10 times so you can grab these both now you used to be able to choose between them so that's a major major w and then you have legacy of the wind runner it used to be in this area so aim shot co um, coalesces one wind arrow that shoot your target for seventeen thousand physical damage 
Each rapid fire deals damage. There is a 5% chance to coalesce a wind arrow at your target. So there's those talents. And then Wailing Arrow used to be over here. And then also you have Readiness now, which is a new talent. I think it's a new talent, or maybe it was called something else. But True Shot grants Wailing Arrow, and you generate two additional wind arrows while in True Shot. Wailing Arrow resets the cooldown of Rapid Fire and generates two charges of Aim Shot. Uh, if Wailing Arrow was an Insta Cast, I think it would be worth running, and if it's silenced players, but I don't think this is going to be worth running into PvP, but also there's a new passive. After summoning 20 wind arrows, your next aim shot becomes a wailing arrow. That's pretty cool. And then now you have Razor Fragments is down here, so I think you'd want to grab Razor Fragments for that increased kill shot damage and that bleed damage. And I think this is the build you'd want to run in PvP. It sounds pretty solid. Uh, so I the changes feel really, really good. I can't complain. The one point, the two point nodes that, that now are one point nodes makes it flow better and they made the the talents just better overall in general. So I think Dark Ranger is going to be best and this is going to be a pretty top tier build once War Within starts if there's no major changes to the talents. So I think this is going to be a really good build. I'll have this build linked in the description so you can try it in the beta in Solo Shuff or in whatever you want to try it in. But I think this is going to be a major W, especially with this talent right here. Smokescreen. Exhilaration got you three seconds of survival of the fittest. Survival of the fittest activates exhilaration at 50% effectiveness. This is going to do super well with this. Having two charges right here. Two charges of uh, survival of the fittest. It's going, to be, it's going to be a major W. And also running True Shot Mastery. Diamond Ice and Fang Death, obviously. The True Shot Master is going to do super well with calling shots now because you don't have to choose between Unerring Vision and calling the shots. A quick test in the skirm. See how the build feels. Fighting Feral and a Paladin, I guess. Let's test this out. The trap here. Salvo. Oh, he gets trapped. He trinkets. Let's kick back on Vogue. Let's get heal sack here. Crab fire. Black arrow. There's bubble on the pharaoh. Let's use my heal again on the pharaoh. Wish we had a DPS meter. He's one, he's one! Just means more entertainment for me. Kill him! Nice. Are. For now, Do this. Far away. It's Cheetah. Into a black arrow. Kill shot. Turtle. I don't have a cancel turtle macro. It's all good. Chavo. Death Chalkums. That increased uh, aim sh or the whew. Yeah, dude, it's feeling like it's gonna be a pretty strong build. But I'm gonna go over the new BM talents and the new survival talents in another video. But let me know in the comments what you guys think of the new marksman talents and the new hunter talents and how they feel. I think the flow and be able to grab other talents you couldn't grab before and all the new talents make the spec feel a lot, lot better and more smooth. I think uh, MM hunter at least and then maybe. Hunter in general is going to be really good at the start of the war within. But if you guys like the video, hit the like button, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.